Kevin and Bean. The world famous K-Rock. We have a very special uh, Ralph Showbiz beat today. Okay. I'm bringing a special guest on the show because you know I have been complaining to you, Kevin and Bean, about how you've been treating the whole Christian Bale story. How I do not think it's funny what you've been doing to Christian Bale. No, I don't, I don't know that like at all. the way you've been <laughs> mocking you, him. I, I haven't find even it, protest that at all. I find it offensive, personally, and that voice that Bean does, where he pretends to Bean? be Christian Bale, he and doesn't do any the, voices. goes off you're on that guy. rant we've heard. You're and I would like to take Christian. this opportunity well, to, to personally apologize to Mr. Christian Bale. We've got him on the phone. Mr. Uh, Mr. Bale. Hello there, guys. Hello, huh? Christian. How are you? Whoa. How are you doing, fellas? Oh, no. Doing well, well sir. I just want to... So who am I talking to? Oh, Ralph? no. <laughs> this is Ralph, Kevin, and Bean, and Lisa May's also here in the studio, Christian. All right. Well, listen, I spoke with you guys a few years back. You seem like good guys. <laughs> I wanted to talk with you about Oh, this. no. All right, are, we being, yeah. are we being punked? No, no you're not. Ralph. This is really it Christian Bale. Like Please tell us it's not. Believe me, this is no punk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Christian has apparently uh, heard some of the <laughs> segments we've been doing since the release of that audio tape. And I got to tell you, I have to tell you. Listen, it has been a miserable week for me. Sure. <laughs> and you guys, I, I was, I was driving in the car. At least I think it was you guys I was listening to. Right. And and you, you, you made me laugh in the midst of all this, uh, this uh, uh, crazy. <laughs> I find really? that hard to believe. <laughs> really? So but li- listen, I, I know I have a potty mouth. Everybody knows that now. Right. But I understand this is live, so please don't worry. I will behave. Okay, right. well, we, we appreciate that. <laughs> if you that. don't, we are done professionally, Christian. <laughs> yeah. but now listen. So can you let can you let me make a few comments? About yes, please. Sure. We'd love to love to give you the opportunity. Thank the, you for the, calling. The thing that I really want to stress is I have no confusion whatsoever. I was out of order beyond belief. I was way out of order. I acted like a punk. I regret that, and there is nobody that has heard that tape that is hit harder by it than me. Yeah. So I make no excuses for it. It is inexcusable, and I, I hope that that is absolutely clear. You know? I think and uh, uh, one thing that has really disturbed me throughout this, um, because, because I, I'm just... I'm not. I'm not familiar. I'm not comfortable yet with this notion of being a movie star. I've, I've always. I'm an actor, and and I don't quite know how to handle the movie star thing. And the the thing that disturbs me so much is that I've heard a lot of people saying that I seem to think I'm better than anybody else, and nothing could be farther from the truth. I am a lucky. I don't want to swear. I'm a lucky <laughs> SOB. <laughs> right. What I do, I never forget that, and that is why. I put so much into what I do and why I care so much about it and why sometimes that enthusiasm just, just, just goes awry, you know? And please, if anybody ever sees that I really am thinking that I'm better than anybody else, stick a fork in my but, backside, yes. <laughs> turn me over, I will be done. That is not me, you know? Well, I got to tell you, we, we were giving you points for... Um uh, the length of the conversation, because I would have run out of energy at about 30 seconds. Absolutely. Listen, and let me tell you how I had that much energy for that <laughs> okay, day. Please. Let, let me try to put this into a little bit of context, because there are, seem to be so many people who are given opinions about this, but you know what? None of them were there. Yeah. Right? Right. Now, so we, we, we're making Terminator. Um, I'm, assume you're, I'm assuming you're familiar with the mythology. Uh, of, course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Have yeah. you seen T2? Yes. 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 It is a great movie. And in it, you will meet Sarah Connor. Mm-hmm. And she is in an insane asylum. Why is she there? Because she is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I play John Connor, her son. And on the day that all of this happened, the scene that we were doing, I was trying to show a little of that in the blood craziness. Mm-hmm. And you know what? It went very wrong. And for reasons that, 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 that myself and Shane, the DP, and every crew member who was in that hangar at Kirtland Air Force Base that day, they know the reasons. I got annoyed, and then what happened, I made it ugly. And that was awful of me. I, I, mm-hmm. I took it all way too far, and I completely mixed up fact and fiction. I'm half John Connor. I'm half Christian there. And we've all heard yeah, exactly. Right, what right. That you know, Christian, the thing I felt bad about when when I heard this, regardless of your personal behavior, was that 
I think that on a set or any sort of creative enterprise, there should be a certain amount of freedom to screw up and, and, and do what you do without having to face it being made public and then having to deal with it in the press. That must be awfully difficult. I, I, I hear you completely, but it's no excuse because you know what? That, that confidentiality, that trust, is, is really not there for um, 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 covering up bad behavior. Right. That is there, and it is essential. Um, that is there, though, so that creatively you can experiment and you can try things that maybe are abysmal and right. maybe are embarrassing beyond belief, and you know and there's a trust with the director and the producers that nobody will ever see that. Mm -hmm. It would be destroyed if it didn't work. But you have to mm -hmm. try those things. How long know? ago did this actually happen, and how long this after? Back, this was back in um, July of last year. July of last year, okay. And how long was it before you've talked to the DP now? You've Oh, listen, listen. I've not only talked with him. We have resolved this completely. That very day, oh, wow. we kept working for a number of hours. Listen, when I'm saying I'm not coming back on that set if he's still hired, you know what? It's hot air. <laughs> I don't believe yeah. that. Right. I have no intention of getting anybody fired. I absolutely believe in Shane's capability. He's done a wonderful job on that movie. We not only kept working that day, we worked together for at least a month after that, every single day. We saw each other two weeks back, and we worked together then. Everything is resolved between us. There is no problem whatsoever. Is it, you know? is it he, weird? He's done a great job with it. And I, and I really want through this, that in case anybody has considered he's not doing a great job, I want everyone to know, I, I've seen a rough cut of the movie. It looks fantastic, and he has done a wonderful professional job, and I don't want anyone to have a misunderstanding about that. I am really looking forward to this movie. It does look fantastic. Um, well, I, I, and I appreciate that, because so many people, not just me, not just Shane, so many crew members have worked so hard um, uh, on this movie. And, and, and a really important point that I want to make is that, hey, I know a number of people are going to be thinking... They, they don't want to go see the movie because they think I'm some kind of prima donna or something. Right. It ain't that. It's just maybe sometimes I care too much about um, uh, uh, the movie. But, you know, it wasn't just me. It was Shane, the DP, the director, the other actors, every single crew member. Um, everybody worked so hard on this movie. And please, I'm asking people, please do not allow my one-time lapse in, judge, in judgment, my, my incredibly embarrassing meltdown to overshadow this movie and, and to have all of those people's hard work go to waste. It is just too great a mythology for that to happen. And, and one other thing is, a lot of people have said that I'm being a bully to this guy. It's an insult to Shane. <laughs> I couldn't bully that guy if I tried. He is a big guy. He is much bigger than me. He's an ex friggin' football player. <laughs> you know? I mean, th this is not Little Orphan Annie yeah. that I was going off on. Okay? Yeah. And, 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 and the other point is, a lot of people have been talking nonsense about that it almost came close to being physical. It never came close to being physical uh, 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 whatsoever. So, so please, I just want to make completely clear I am embarrassed by it, and, and, and I regret it, and I ask everybody to sit down and ask themselves, have they ever had a bad day, yeah. mm -hmm. and have they ever lost their temper, and really regretted it immensely? Yeah, we have, uh, we have a special appreciation for uh, mistakes that we make, and then they come back to haunt us on tape and get played over and over again. That really sucks. And we were saying at the time, I'm sure you heard me say this, Christian Bale, that... Uh, <laughs> It's a good thing we didn't, all of us don't have our worst moments taped and, you know, put out there for everyone to hear, because that would be embarrassing for us. I yell at Kevin and Bean like you did every day, yep. Christian. Yeah. That's what it is. That happens. Right. Yeah. It's just nobody else hears it. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, exactly. Okay, you, uh, listen, thank you so much for taking the time. I, yes. I also appreciate you, you making fun of it. You know, I had it coming. <laughs> Feel free to make fun of me. Uh, at my expense. Well, you've kind of taken the fun out of it now. I mean, I, now, I, you know, I, we kind I, of see I, where you're I, coming I from. I deserve it completely. <laughs> well, I was always um, telling Kevin and Bean it was a bad uh, idea that I really was against <laughs> it, but they insisted. <laughs> we told Ralph he shouldn't have made well, fun well, of you. Well, thanks very much for listening to me. And listen, uh, what, one extra thing, nothing to do with the movie, but I, I was listening to um, the, uh, the radio earlier on. Please, Michael Phelps. Yes. Swim in the next Olympics. Yeah. This yes, guy I, has a God-given talent. Yeah. 
I oh, think he, he will. Smoked a bit of weed. Plenty of our presidents have. Yeah, right. Okay? Including the current one. Right. Everybody makes mistakes. Bounce back from it. You know, do not waste that godlike talent. Swim in the next Olympics, please. I'm sure he will. Very good. All right. Okay. Uh, you're a uh, you're a big uh, a big man for for owning up to your uh, mistake, and I hope that a lot of people listening will uh, hear the perspective that you put it in and, and accept your apology and continue to support the great work that you do up there on the screen. Christian Bale, thanks for calling in today. We enjoyed talking to you. Thank you very much, man. Thanks very much. Adios. See you. Bye. Kevin, 106.7 and me. Care of you, K Rock.